Hey guys, so uh, welcome to your general reading. Um, what does your dreams mean for Taurus for July 2022? You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look at what you guys are dreaming about. What do they mean? And uh, we'll finish off the read to see what you guys need to know, what you guys need to work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Um, if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me and also to your spe specific energies. Um, also, quick note that these messages are not really meant to be cross-watched, flipped, twisted, or reverse. Uh, these readings are more so for the Taurans that are on a path of spiritual growth, personal growth, and healing. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? So Taurus, let's get started. Tell me about Taurus and their dreams. What is Taurus uh, dreaming about? What is Taurus dreaming about? And what do these dreams mean? For July 2022 for Taurus. Uh, we have Temperance and the Three of Swords. Okay. Seems like you guys are healing from heartbreak. Your guides and your angels are, are supporting you on this healing here too. Um, temperance, Sagittarius energy. And the Four of Cups. And the King of Cups. There's someone here that's making you an offer, maybe even an apology, asking for forgiveness, but Taurus, you're not even paying attention to this. Yeah, I, I feel like this is being played out in your dreams. Perhaps it did play out in the, in the 3D and you're playing it over again in your dreams or something like that, okay? Um, or that this will happen. So just apply this to your own unique situation. We have the Two of Swords. And the Moon, so Cancer Pisces energy. Seems like right now there's an energy of feeling like, I feel like someone here is in denial. Some Someone here is trying to block out these dreams or something like that. I feel like these are nightmares. Yeah, the thing is I feel like this is a, this is like a, maybe a reoccurring dream here or something like that. Could be a reoccurring dream where someone here has gotten hurt many, 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 many times. And I feel like someone here dreams about getting hurt or being disappointed here or someone here rejecting someone's uh, offer or apology or something like that. Um, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Three of Swords, and we have the Seven of Cups, Temperance, we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Four of Cups and the Hangman, Pisces, Energy, King of Cups, and the Tower, uh, Two of Swords, and the Six of Cups, the moon, and the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're tired of not knowing where you stand with a past person. Now, this could be an ex, okay? This could be a family member. This could be a friend. Just apply this to your own unique situation. Yeah, I feel like you don't know where you stand with this individual. Like, are you standing right beside me or behind me? Or are you trying to stab me, stab me in the back? Or are you trying to gouge my eyes out? I, yeah, so uh, we have the hangman here. Piscean energy in a tower, Aries Scorpio energy. It's, I feel like you're having some sort of aha moment in your dreams here. Yeah. Like, I feel like the universe is stepping in and showing you that aha moment here. We have the Seven of Cups and the Page of Cups. So I don't know if someone here is trying to offer you everything that you dreamed of. Perhaps this person has offered you this multiple times and I feel like you, uh, this person has never really delivered. Could be dealing with someone here who's younger than you with the Page of Cups, okay? Seems like whoever this person is, this person is offering you a ton of baloney. And I feel like this is happening in your dream state and also in your 3D. Um, what, does, uh, what does Taurus need to know? And what does Taurus need to work on regarding their dreams here for July 2022? Let's see what we have here for you, Taurus. 
All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. And then we have the Chariot and the Page of Swords. Okay, Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of, Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then we have this Chariot and the Page of Swords. Chariot, Cancer, Energy, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I mean, I feel like you're definitely moving on from this, but I also feel like there's going to be someone here chasing you. Okay, whoever this is, someone here can't let this go. Yeah, I do feel like you're dealing with someone here who's younger than you. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Cups. Eight of Wands. Seems like someone here is offering you an offer. Uh, or, or an apology. Uh, but this could be indication with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here that you're perhaps looking out for yourself and you're moving on to new things for you. Um, time to with this Knight of Wands here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands and Justice, Six of Wands and the Hermit. Virgo energies, Chariot in the World, Page of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles here. You know, you could have physically gotten away from this individual here, like moved away. Like, I really feel like there's a lot of distance between you two, and I feel like this person is trying to find you or something like that. Now, maybe this maybe you're running from this person in your dreams, okay? Um, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friend, a family member, yeah, um, you know, a co-worker. It could be an animal, okay? Uh, we have Justice and the Hermit here. Now, I suggest you not to run from this, uh, uh, from just from my experience. It's best to... Whatever is chasing you, even though it's scary in the dream, is to let it catch you and just see what happens. Yeah, let it unfold. Because I feel like once it catches you, you'll get the answers that you're looking for. And perhaps that's happening in your dreams because I feel like you're having some sort of like major aha moment. Okay, we have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. We have the World and the Three of Pentacles. It just seems like someone here wants to come back around to work on things here with you. But I feel like you've completely withdrawn and blocked this out. Yeah, or pushed it away. All right, let's see what we have. What else do we have? What else do we have here for Taurus? What else do we have here for Taurus? I almost said Virgo. Could be dealing with the Virgo. We have angels, support, and guidance. We have fairies, environment, playtime, and enchantment. Perhaps in your dreams, you guys might be dreaming about this. Yeah, maybe fair is being around you. Maybe fair is being a support system here for you. We have nettle, boundaries, and caution. If you guys have ever been stung by a nettle stinger while you're hiking, it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like this is important to have boundaries with people. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you guys spend a lot of time in nature or dream or, or like having these dreams with these these people or these angels or these fairies um in your dreams okay so yeah i just got stung by a nettle stinger just last weekend yeah not this past weekend but the, the one prior when i was going hiking uh, with some friends and my dog got stung on my shoulder it hurt really 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 bad yeah and then you know you get these like giant big welts yeah and it burns it does go away uh, it's only temporary but it hurts yeah we have create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. That's exactly what's happening here because I, I keep getting that there is some sort of aha moment that's happening in your sleep. Soul healing align with your essence. See your true colors. And I feel like you're finally seeing it. Maybe you're seeing your worth or something like that. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Taurus? What else do we have here for Taurus? And then we have focus your mind. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. So I feel like your priorities are shifting here, too. It could be a situation that you're no longer worried about this person. Trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Perhaps you do have a support system here that's trying to help you out. Okay, I feel like the, your support systems are more your guides, your angels, and your fairies, even perhaps unicorns. 
okay? So uh, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.